Hey YouTube fam, hello from Garima and today we are going to do some interesting DIYs using some um, trash or waste items and we are going to do some modern yet minimalistic DIYs. If you like watching my videos then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap on the notification bell so that you're not missing any of my video. Now let's dive into the video and for the first project I'm going to make a farmhouse style storage basket and for making this basket I'm going to use this basket which came along with oranges which I bought during my Assam trip and since then this, this basket has been lying around and today I'm going to give it a makeover. So to begin with I am painting it in black color using black acrylic paint. Once done painting we will leave it for drying. Now in order to give a farmhouse look to this basket, I am going to add some burlap cloth as a inner covering of the basket and for that I have taken a rectangle piece of cloth and I am sticking the uh, edges so that we get a round shape and for sticking I am using a heavy uh, glue. You can even use a glue gun for sticking this fabric. Now for the lower section, I'm uh, going to wrap it just like we wrap a gift paper and then I will glue it using the same glue which we have used previously. Make sure you have added a lot of glue so that burlap is not shredding and once the cloth dries then we have to simply insert this uh, burlap covering inside the basket for that clean farmhouse look. Stick the outer edges using the glue again and this will uh, help in holding the cloth at one piece and basket will look much more cleaner. And for the finishing touches I am going to add this burlap uh, roll which I got from itsybitsy.com. I will share the link in the description box. This will give a much needed cleaner look to our basket and then we are done. And just like that our waste basket has turned into this cool farmhouse style storage basket you can use it for organizing your kitchen your almira you can store your craft supplies anything you like and it will look cool anywhere now moving on to our second project we are going to make a tabletop planter using this terracotta bowl i got this bowl during diwali last year for some puja and since then it has been lying around so first I am going to uh, make a hole so that we get a water drainage for our plant. Now in order to make three legs for this planter I am going to add these wooden beads. It will give it the much needed height and the three legged look as well. And for sticking this I am going to use a synthetic glue. You can use any uh, good glue because plant and soil will have some weight so you make sure you are using a good glue. Now it's time to paint it. For painting it, I am going to mix two chalk paints, basically terracotta and white chalk paint so that I get a lighter shade. And now I am going to paint this uh, bowl and legs in same color so that we get a cohesive look for the planter. I am using a golden paint for uh, painting the rim of the planter for, for that elegant look. So I wanted to have a speckled look on this planter so basically I am going to spray some black and white color using a toothbrush and just like that you are done. The moment my, my husband spotted it after coming from office I, he said did you order this planter online and I was really really happy because it was such a big compliment it was looking really nice you can even use it for styling your shelves it will look anywhere very good and you can color it in different colors whatever you like and I really loved doing this uh, best out of waste DIY project. Jumping into the third project, for third project we are going to make a cushion cover. So basically I had this black cushion cover lying with me since really long and I found it boring now so I was not using it. So I decided to give it a makeover and for that I am going to use these um, cotton cords. These are very easily available anywhere, they will cost you 10 rupees per meter. 
so i had seen this um, cushion covers on urban outfitters and i really loved them so i decided to recreate them in my own style so instead of braiding it i'm going to use uh, two pieces of ropes and i have placed them whenever wherever i want to stick them and now i am going to stick them using a glue gun usually i don't like using glue guns on cushion covers because i have to wash them frequently having a kid at home you know how things are but this is a black cushion so i thought let me go ahead with uh, the glue gun uh, i can gently wash it with my hands and i think this glue is going to sustain but if you like you can stitch it as well i thought this will be much quicker and easier so i i have used this glue gun here While stitching or gluing two pieces of ropes together, make sure there is no gap in between them, otherwise the look will get spoiled. We will tie a cotton thread at all the edges so that they are not shredding. Now we will simply unravel the ropes and brush them. And here we go. Our very own urban outfitter inspired cushion cover is ready. in a very small budget we have used our old cushion cover here gave a new life to it and i'm really loving it for the fourth project we are going to give a quick makeover to this um, box i got this um chest small chest from a banjara market very long time back and since then it has been lying with me and somehow it has got dirty and it is looking old now and i don't like it using any more so i wanted to give a makeover but i still like the design of it so i am going to store it in best way possible so i'll start with a cleaning it i'll spray some water and i will gently clean it basically i want to keep the embossing the design which you can see on the side panels and on the top um so i'll be painting it by in white chalk paint so when we will paint it in white you will still see the design it will look like a self pattern and it will look very elegant and minimalistic see the magic of paint it is already looking so beautiful and elegant but we will not leave it here we will add one more element which will which will give it a more elegant and a bit of trendy look so basically i'll be adding something in between the square which you see on the top so basically i'm going to add a piece of um, square bamboo mesh on the top of this um, chest Uh, so these days ratan and cane is so much in trend these days and such boxes cost a lot so i'm going to use this mesh lying over from my cabinet shoe cabinet makeover and i have cut out a piece and now i'm going to stick it using a uh, a uh, glue a synthetic glue i'm using you can use any wood glue or any strong glue which can easily hold this uh, mesh on the top of this box for the borders i am simply going to stick some white uh, satin lace once done sticking the borders i am simply going to paint the knob in golden metallic color it will go with our overall theme and it will give that elegant touch to this box Leave it for drying for a couple of hours and then you are done.
I love how that old uh, loud chest has now um, transformed into this beautiful minimalistic box. I can use it for storing keys on my entryway or maybe for uh, st storing my rings and earrings. It looks really nice and the bamboo mesh is adding that earthy vibe to it and I really love it. So I hope you enjoyed all the 4 DIYs today and I will see you soon next week with other DIYs.